our next guest played Bobby Hill on King of the Hill and many other things. She now has her own great show. The fifth and final season of Better Things premieres Monday night on FX and Hulu 2. Please say hello to Pamela Adlon. <laughs> I know how Jeff Babco, our keyboard player, does some music for you, right? He is a Better Things cast member by now. Yeah. He's incredible. Well, let me just tell you something. I want to just begin this with a compliment. Do I need a booster chair? I you feel might well. need a booster chair. Oh. If Guillermo will give you his stool if okay. you want. <laughs> but this show, and I got a chance to see a sneak preview of season five, and you know I've been a big fan of this show since the very beginning. But yeah. the I think it is the most natural show on television and that I mean like it doesn't it doesn't seem like any of it is written and I mean that in a good way because everything just flows the directing the writing the acting and what a credit to you that is I mean it Thank is you. a fantastic show and I'm sad that it's over <laughs> Five of you may Listen, have I know heard like of it. most of these people are just pretending and being nice, but no, I totally, would recommend and I love it. Go back and start at the beginning because it's on Hulu now, so you can do that. Yeah. And watch all of them leading up to this season because uh, and this season, well, there's some things that we can't talk about. But one thing I do want to talk about is there's a blast from my past in this in this season. This is the episode that I yeah. watch. So you've had a bunch. Who are some of the guest stars, like the known guest stars you've had on the show? Well, um, before this season? Yeah, before this season. I mean, yeah. we had Lenny Kravitz, who I went to high school with. Mm -hmm. And so he, he came on. We had Henry Thomas, who was Elliot in E.T. <laughs> and I called him Elliot one day, and he was like, OK, Dolores. <laughs> oh, a couple of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, I mean, I just, I, there's people that I love and that um, I always kind of imagined one day if I had a show, I would want Diedrich Bader to be in my show. Uh -huh. And then I, I put him in my show, so. And this time you found, now there was in the, in the 70s, the 60s really, I think it started, there were shows, there are crazy cartoon shows on yes. Saturday morning made by Sid and Marty Croft. Like, oh, we have the picture here. H.R. Puffin stuff was one of them. Yes! Uh, they had great theme songs, uh, Land of the Lost. Yes! Lidsville was another one, right? Uh, I mean, um, these these were everything to me. And, you know, I, I grew up, I see you nodding, Mommy. I love you. <laughs> I see you, you and me. So I brought my kids up on these shows, you know, and... These were everything to me, and they weren't cartoons. They were like crazy. They were like in puppets, puppets and practical. And, people and, yeah. and then some and animation you, kind of in there. They do animation, and, and you sit there and you go, well, were these made for children or stoned people? Well, <laughs> it is called HR Puffin Stuff, so I'm going to guess that there was some crossover I there. I mean, it's just like the, the questions, I could never get past them, but I'm, I'm obsessed with So how them. does Marty Croft wind up on your show? I was at Gelson's. The, the supermarket. In yep. the valley. And it was like, a, you know, everybody's wearing masks, and it was like one of those days, very heavy, like really soon after the shutdown. And I'm staring at this man, and he's a very, like, stately, gray-haired very tall, but hunched over. And I see him, like, going into the deli and, like, pulling out food. And I'm staring at him, and he's got, like, some <laughs> written on his arm right there, and it was, like, embossed, sticking out. And I look at it, and I'm like, it, that says Land of the Lost. And I said, excuse me, I couldn't help but notice you're wearing a Land of the Lost jacket. And he turns to me and he goes, yes. <laughs> and I said, are you Sid or Marty? And he said, I'm Marty, the good looking one. <laughs> and, and we talked and then he took out his card and he gave it to me and I like <laughs> my pants because it had the, the HR puff and stuff like the logo and everything. Oh, and wow. he said, don't sell it, only if you need the cash. Uh. <laughs> and then he said, email me. <laughs> Yeah. And so I did. No response. 
And so then... No response to the email. No oh. response. So okay. then a little bit of time goes by, and I write him again. I'm like, yo, Marty, I love you. Maybe we could break bread or whatever. <laughs> no response. And he told me, he said, email me. So um, later, I start my writer's room, and I tell this story to the writers. And I said, we have to put this in the show. <laughs> that I bump into Marty Croft, and he's, he's outside where one of my kids is working. And um, so I do, and we put out a breakdown for casting, and I'm like, we're looking for a Marty Croft type, because I never thought he was going to, you know, whatever. So then I get a call from, like, my old makeup artist who knows his daughter, who's a makeup artist, says, she's so excited because you cast her father, Marty, in your show. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't cast Marty. In my I'm looking for a Marty Croft type. He's probably not an actor. And this has backfired on me so many times. Really? When I'm like, you're funny. I'm going to put you in my show. Yeah. And then it's like, lead gorilla crickets. <laughs> Everybody's dead. <laughs> Nothing's working. So I was like, I didn't, I didn't even respond. So then it turns out that he called Felicia Fasano, my casting director, and she was like, Marty wants to read or whatever. And I was like, oh, dear Jesus. <laughs> and so then I contacted his daughter, Kendra, and um, I said, let's just do it. And he comes to work, and another one of his daughters is an actor, and he worked on the scene with her, and it turned out he incredibly. He did great. Yeah, he was and great. And he was ad-libbing, uh -huh. and everybody on my crew Went crazy. Are you friends now with him? Is it have now? Oh, it has doesn't he... stop. Oh, now it's oh, like yeah. single white female. <laughs> it's single Marty Croft female. That's what you get. <laughs> yes, it's the best. And and I was shooting a scene with Lena Waith mm -hmm. in uh, a later episode at CBS Radford, and we're doing this walk and talk, like from the studio. And I'm with Lena, and Lena is like so cool. You're just like, hey man, you know. I mean, Lena's like a unicorn, and right. you're around her. Very recognizable, very stylish. Yes. Yes. And very, and very regal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't want to waste her time. And even though we're close, I just wanted everything to go well. So we shoot the scene. I said, do you want to see the playback? So we're watching the playback on the monitor. And we're, we're standing there. And then I get a tap on my shoulder. And it's in the middle of playback, and the whole crew and, and the producer, the DP, Another tap, I turn, it's Marty. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, come here. <laughs> I got something to tell you. And I was like, Marty, um, this, is, this is Lena Waithe. This is Marty Croft. And she's like, show me the playback, bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> OK, so just give me a second. And I go around, and he is standing there. Is he behind the, oh. <laughs> with, this, with this bag. And he goes, listen. I think you're fantastic. I can't believe it. I had such a wonderful time. I think you should play Witchy Poo in the reboot or whatever <laughs> was going on. And he said, I wanted to give you this. And he gives me. No. Oh. Thank that's you. That's Freddie. That's Freddie. Thank you. Freddie the flute. And you know the kid who had Freddie was Jimmy. Can I? May I hold Freddie? Yes, it was Jimmy. Oh wow! Look at that. That is Freddie. Jimmy, who Jack Wilde played Jimmy. Oh, he had him in his pocket. My God, have you smoked out of this yet? <laughs> <laughs> Holy! This is him. I know, and and I'm not giving it to you. No, I wouldn't give it to me either. <laughs> he gave it to me. Wow. But it's not the original because people are like, is oh, this the original? Well then, no. I know. Because um, the original Freddy was articulated and oh, he's no. probably dust now. Oh, OK, he's OK. Well, Better Things returns Monday night. FX in Hulu. Pamela Adlon, everybody. We'll be back with Banks. Thanks for watching. Remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.